Okay, this one's about derating the gas furnace for altitude. Uh, the reason you would derate is because you're above 2,000 feet. Uh, when you get above 2,000 feet, you are supposed to start derating. And you derate, most of these guys say 4% uh, per 1,000. And the first thing when you start derating is you can reduce the, the uh, manifold pressure. Now you can take, uh, most of these things run about three and a half inches water column. And you can drop that water column down to about three inches. Anything below that, you're going to have to start changing orifices. And you may have to change pressure switches and other things. It's all actually manufacturer's instructions for this stuff. So to be sure we don't get below that uh, three inches of water column, we need some kind of gauge to check the manifold pressure. And I've got three gauges here, uh, and I'm gonna go over each one of these and, and tell you how they're used. Okay, this one's a magnet helix right here. This one only goes up to two inches water column. It, normally you'd get one that goes up to about 10, but the gauge itself pretty much looks the same as this one here. Okay, this other one is the little Richie. Pretty much the same thing as a Magna Helic. It's probably a little cheaper than a Magna Helic and probably not quite as accurate. Uh, both of these will work okay. They're a little bit delic delicate mechanically, but they will read what you need to see. And the last one here is this little electronic. This is kind of a cheap electronic, but it does work pretty good. And it will uh, take any of these water column measurements that you need. So you're going to have to have one of these things. Okay. Uh, when you're doing a high altitude adjustment, I've got a couple of gas valves here just to show uh, the different uh, configurations. This cap right here is what you're going to be removing. And underneath it, you can see that slot head in there. That's the actual adjustment. Uh, you turn it uh, counterclockwise to reduce pressure. This one here, you can see it's right under this cap right here. Same thing. Uh, if you're doing a high altitude adjustment, uh, one thing I want to emphasize here is you're going to have to follow whatever manufacturer instructions there are. And uh, if it's going above 4,000 feet, uh, there's usually a kit required, different pressure switches and the like. So you're going to have to follow that stuff to make sure you get this right. Um, you can reduce manifold pressure to about 3 inches water column, as I said before, if it starts out at 3.5. Not all of them do, so you got to look at your information to be sure it's correct. But if you go below uh, three inches of water column, then of course you have to change the orifices uh, to get the firing rate correct. And when you adjust it down, what you're going to do is you're going to go out and clock the meter. When you clock the meter, you can tell just how much you've knocked it down. So uh, calculate how much you got to knock it down, adjust the manifold pressure down a little bit. Now remember, I said you can't go below three inches uh, of water column on this thing. That's why you need that gauge. And uh, then go out and clock the meter until you get it correct. Uh, one other thing I'll show you, uh, these uh, gauges, like this silly thing, I've got this little uh, tap here. Now this tap on this gas valve is going to go right there. And there's a little plug right there. This one here is a little bit different. This, this is a Gemini and you loosen, loosen these little caps. 
if you if you have something like a Gemini, I did do a video on just the Gemini. It's because it's a little more complicated. But you would tap right into there with the machine off, hopefully. Otherwise, you're going to get a face full of fire. Uh, put this tap in there, and you can read it. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before when I was showing you these different gauges, you can use a water tube manometer if you want to. And that is, it's just a U-shaped tube full, full of water and it's graduated. The biggest problem with that silly thing is it's really expensive for what it is. Uh, the last I knew about 50 bucks for one of the things and heck that silly electronic right there cost 70 so I don't think it's they're a, a really good value uh, you don't have to calibrate them that's one thing but anyway uh, be sure you don't get below the three inches of water column on the manifold and uh, clock your meter that's really about all there is to this unless you're going above 4,000 feet, and then you need a kit from the factory.